Odie Loke Sports Info here, back with another vid for you guys. Yeah, y'all, hit that subscribe, like, bell icon so y'all can be notified of this real. Because y'all know, Odie Loke keeps it real. Yeah, y'all, so, if you guys don't know, Terrence Bud Crawford, he was on Twitter, right? I say about six or seven hours ago. And he said, let's talk, right? He told all his followers, let's talk. And, you know, they was asking Bud, you know, a lot of questions. And they basically were saying, you know, who is really holding up this fight? And Bud said it's him. That's who really holding up the fight. And then he was asked this question right here, you know, what year does Spence fight? And he said twenty nine ninety nine, right? Because he already know what they trying to do. See, Bud Crawford, he already know what the PBC fanboys are trying to, you know, push for, right? They want Earl Spence Jr. to wait this man out. That's what this is all about, people. They trying to protect Earl Spence Jr. as long as possible. They trying to wait out Bud Crawford until he slow down a little bit, right? Just a little bit. We need Bud Crawford to slow down, to look vulnerable, right? And then we will probably send Earl Spence there. But I doubt. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt if this fight really ever happened. For real, for real. See, like people, they think I'm tripping, but I doubt if this fight ever happened. Because I think Earl Spence Jr. is going to go up to 154 before he ever fights Terrence Bud Crawford. That's just my opinion. I think he's going to leave the whole division, right? He's going to come up with another excuse. He's going to miss weight or something. Watch. He's going to miss weight or something. And then he's going to say, oh, it's hard for me to get back down to 147. Right? Oh, it's hard for me to get back down to 147, so I'm just going to move up to 154. Watch. Mark my words. This is what I see playing out. This is what I see happening. Because there's no way in hell that Earl Spence Jr. should be avoiding this man for this long period of time. Right? He say it's strap season. He say it's man down. He say he free smoke junior, right? He's the boogeyman of the welterweight division. But when it comes down to Terrence Bud Crawford, oh man, you on the wrong side of the street, bro, right? You don't bring in enough um, um, views, right? Oh, you signed to Bob Arum. You need to come over here to the PBC. Come on, man. Stop with all the weird old excuses. All these weirdo excuses. We know that Earl Spence Jr. don't want that smoke. Right? He don't want the smoke. He said that Sean Porter was the easy route. And we seen what happened in that fight. He lost. I don't care what nobody say. Earl Spence Jr. lost that fight. He lost the fight. Sean Porter should have still won that fight by at least two rounds. He should have. Go back and look at the fight again, and you tell me who was controlling the fight the whole fight. Right? Sean Porter was. Sean Porter was doing whatever the hell he wanted to do to Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr., he had to, you know, react. Sean Porter was all over his ass. That's why I say that route wasn't so easy, right? Don't y'all remember when Earl Spence Jr., he came out and said, why, why don't I take the easy route and knock out Sean Porter? <laughs> that route wasn't so easy, huh? Huh, Earl? That route wasn't so easy, huh? Exactly, bro, because you just talk. You just talk. 